hello everyone this is a question of csir net and uh, this question is from ordinary differential equation in this question let u be a positive eigen function with eigen value lambda for a boundary value problem this uh, from this we notice that a of t greater than 0 for every value of t because it's given that positive eigen function now a is a continuous function uh, from this function we notice that uh, a of t greater than 0 for every value of t because its range is 1 to infinity uh, this implies that uh, a t is a positive continuous function now uh, question is uh, which of the following statements are possibly true uh, now for this question we use a result that is uh, if a not t into u double dot plus a 1 t u dot plus a to t into u equals to lambda u where for each i belongs to 0 1 2 a i t's are continuous functions and a i t are positive functions and if lambda n is a sequence of eigenvalues for this differential equations now we have a result this implies that each for each n belongs to a set of natural number lambda n is positive and uh, lambda n is a strictly increasing sequence uh, now using this result we equate the this differential equation with given differential equation and uh, we get a naught is equals to 1 a1 is equals to 2 and uh, a2 equals to a function uh, these three functions are positive plus continuous on a given domain so uh, in question we have asked which of the following statement are possible true now if uh, lambda n is a sequence of eigenvalues and uh, this implies that uh, each eigenvalue is positive and this sequence of eigenvalues is strictly increasing sequence now in this question if lambda is eigenvalue this implies that uh, lambda must be greater than zero so using this result option one correct option b incorrect and option d also incorrect now come to for option c uh, given differential equation is u double dot plus 2u dot plus a of t into u equals to lambda u now arrange the terms uh, we have a t minus lambda into u equals to minus u double dot minus 2 u dot we multiply this differential equation uh, with u that is a t minus lambda u square equals to minus u into u double dot minus 2 u dot into u now these terms are continuous so we can integrate them that is 0 to 1 at minus lambda u square dt equals to minus 0 to 1 u into u double dot dt uh, minus 0 to 1 2 u dot u into dt now again arrange the terms and uh, we get 2 time of 0 to 1 u into u naught dt plus 0 to 1 at minus lambda u minus 0 to 1 u double dot u dt uh, say this first and this second uh, for this integral we use integration by parts and further this is equals to minus of uh, u into u prime 0 to 1 0 to 1 first function derivative integration of second function and dt now again solve this uh, we have 2 times 0 to 1 u into u dot dt plus 0 to 1 a t minus lambda u square dt equals to minus of 
u1 u-1 minus u0 u0 u-0 minus of 0 to 1 u dash square dt and this implies that minus this is 0 this is 0 and minus of 0 to 1 dt and we get 0 to 1 u dash square dt this implies that 2 0 to 1 u into u dot dt plus 0 to 1 at minus lambda u square dt equals to 0 to 1 u dash square dt uh, actually this expression match with the option c implies option c is correct now again verify yes this match with our option so this implies that option c is correct uh, for this question uh, option a and option c are in